My name is Nikki, I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Today is Easter Sunday and I think Polly has started laying eggs. I think it was you, little Polly. Clever girl. Here you can go down. And she's laid it in the right place. So here we have a beauty blender, a big egg from Molly and a little baby new egg from Polly. Clever chickies. They must have known it was Easter. It's a very special day today because Carlo is cooking his famous pasta al forno. We have salami, hard boiled egg, half cooked pasta, parmigiano, mince meat and tomato sauce, mozzarella, and he's giving that a good mix. The pasta is only halfway cooked, so it's cooked six minutes instead of 12, because obviously the rest of it is going to go in the oven. Adesso per farla diventare bella croccante, This is the most important bit for a nice crunchy top. Now, don't go and all send me messages saying that, oh my God, Carlo can cook too, he's amazing. This is pretty much all he cooks. <laughs> he's got about three dishes and then lots of sandwiches. <laughs> After about 10 minutes in the oven and four minutes under the grill, this is the result. Yum, yum. I've just told them that there's an Easter egg hidden somewhere in this room. morning and happy Easter Monday. So Easter Monday in Italy is called Pasquetta and traditionally you go out with your friends and family and have a big picnic somewhere either at the beach or in the countryside up in the mountains. Of course we cannot do that this year and um, generally in Positano to be honest with you it's a bit of a nightmare because half the world seems to come here for Pasquetta and it gets very very busy. The road becomes gridlocked and uh, the beach is just so crowded it's not particularly pleasant so this year the beach is going to be completely empty of course and we have decided we're going to have a little barbecue and eat outside because it's such a lovely day Nobody can agree on where this plant should be. I think it should be there. No, un po' più dentro, per favore, Luca. Un po' più dentro. No. No. Un po' più qua. Ecco. I think we're going to eat all of these beans now, but I might as well top and tail them all now. So I know that um, on the Amalfi Coast today and yesterday, I think there are extra police controlling the area, making sure that people aren't going out and uh, breaking the rules of quarantine, because today is a big temptation. It is usual that everybody's out and about and doing stuff. And uh, I think they're driving around and I've seen, uh, I saw yesterday there was a police boat checking all the local beaches, making sure there was nobody sneaking down to the beach. Mm -hmm. 
confetta grande è quella che sono ti piace just stolen this dessert from the table just to, sh to show you it and tell you what it is this is a cassatiello dolce it's a sweet cassatiello it's made with a sort of like a cake sponge it's soft inside but it's quite hard on top and it's got a uh, glass of sugar and then they decorate it with all these little chocolate eggs and traditional italian sweets this is a classic napolitan easter dessert So when Sky arrived here a few weeks ago, she only brought hand luggage, um, so she didn't have many clothes with her at all. So these are all mine, aren't they, apart from the jeans? Yeah. Do you like my clothes? Yeah, I do. If they fit me. It is slightly overcast today. I'm going to take Holly for a quick little dog walk and I'm going to tell you about the galley islands. The islands that you see in front of Positano are called Ligalli, the galley islands, and can also be referred to as the Siren Islands, after the mythological sirens that were said to have lived there. In Greek mythology, the sirens were dangerous creatures that resembled large birds with human heads. As depicted in Homer's Odyssey, they would lure passing sailors to shipwreck on the rocky coast of their islands by singing and enchanting them with their music. Ulysses survived the lure of the sirens by instructing his sailors to plug their ears with sealing wax and tie him tightly to the mast of his ship so he could hear them but not succumb to their music. By the Middle Ages, the form of the sirens had transformed to the mermaid figure that we know today. Although from here it looks just like one island, there are in fact three. The Gallo Lungo, which is perfectly shaped like a dolphin from above, La Castelluccia and La Rotonda, both rocky and barren. Gallo Lungo originally hosted a monastery and then a prison. The Aragonese Tower, that can still be seen today, was built in 1312 as a watchtower to help protect the coastline from pirates. In 1922, Russian choreographer and dancer Leonid Massin bought the islands and built a dance studio and an open-air theatre which was later destroyed by storms. After Massin died, in 1988 the islands were sold to Rudolf Nureyev, another Russian dancer, who restored it in a Moorish style with 19th century tiles from Seville. He spent the last years of his life here and every year at the beginning of September Positano still hosts a dance festival in his memory. The islands are now owned by a hotelier from Sorrento and can be rented privately. It's possible to swim from a boat around the islands but not to land. The waters around the islands are crystal clear and full of tiny little fish. It's a beautiful place to swim and it's highly recommended to take a boat trip there when you visit Positano. Siccome veramente abbiamo tempo da perdere, questo coso orribile di plastica schifoso. Abbiamo fatto questo che è più carino. Uno per qua e uno per giù. Ah, I'm taking a little walk around the garden because I don't know what to do. And the sky has gone off for a run down on the pathway below somewhere. And Holly's just going to basically follow me around now. Um, somebody asked me on comments somewhere um, where the nearest hospital was. The nearest hospital is in Sorrento or just below Ravello. The hospital of Castiglione is just below Ravello. And that is the one that we're supposed to go to unless it's a life or death emergency. And then they will take you to Sorrento. Other than that, Naples which is obviously quite a wear away. If it's, if it's really, really bad, they will normally helicopter people to the hospitals um, and the helicopters will either land on the pier where the boats come in or up on the football pitch in Monte Petuso. Um So that's why the hospitals are here. But let's just hope we don't need them. Yes, if anything happened to us here in this house, it would be a problem because obviously we are nearly 500 steps from the road and no ambulances can get to us. Uh, no helicopters, helicopters, here's your helicopter, <laughs> no helicopters can land here. So um, we just try to be very careful. My dad sent me a proper stadium first aid kit, so we've got that <laughs> and that will have to do.
tonight so all the garden furniture has to be decushioned. That'll do. Would you like me to open the door for you? Don't like the cat clap, do you? Very good.